entry level, as I said, motivation, right? A lot of people are stuck on this motivation thing. And I think that the reason why I said um, motivation is entry level is because that's something that I used to do when I was a child, getting excited about a football game, getting excited about a basketball game, getting all motivated and hyped up, right? Getting hyped up so you can go out there and you can give it your all. That is the only thing that matters. I don't care um, how excited you get or how hyped you get. If you haven't worked on the skills to achieve what you want to achieve out of life, then you are not going to be successful. That's just a fact. That's what it is, right? You are not. Listen, I can be as motivated as I want to be. If I step on the court in an NBA game, I'm going to get clobbered. I'm not going to be successful. That is how it works, man. Uh, you have to put in the work. So um, motivation is entry level. That just gets you to thinking, I need to move in this direction. I need to move in that direction. Motivation is a quick thought process just to um, initiate action. Okay, so I hope you guys understand that and we're going to get into uh, motivation a little bit more, right? Um, thinking that you need to be motivated to succeed is for amateurs, God. It is for amateurs. Like I said before, it was something that I used to do in my youth, in my teenage years. I used to try to get all hyped up and excited, right? Um, and the truth is, is that um, a lot of people who believe this to the core and they're adults, right? Um, they probably never truly won anything before because even as a youth, as a child, right? No matter how excited and motivated I got, eventually that whole adrenaline faded and I had to dig down and work on the skills that it took to get me there. Right. So if it was a basketball game, I had to work on my skills, my dribbling skills, my shooting skills, my my court presence. OK, I had to work on all of that in order to be successful in basketball or football or baseball or, or martial arts or whatever I was doing. Right. That motivation faded away after the first moment. And even as a youth, I had to work on what. I developed my skills and I had to execute that, right? So um, success is more about execution than it is about motivation. But we'll go even deeper into that, right? Um, success in anything worthwhile, right, is a marathon, guys. Now, why do I use the analogy of a marathon, right? The reason why I use the analogy of a marathon is because um, in a marathon, um, and I want you guys to think about this for a minute, right? How many of you have ever run a marathon before I even say that, right? You guys know if you have ever run a marathon um, that you have to first maybe be excited about the marathon, but you have to immediately calm that down because you don't want to burn off all your adrenaline in the beginning. You have a long way to go, four to six hours maybe, depending on, on how great of a runner you are, right? Um, and so you have to get rid of that, that quick motivation adrenaline that you have that starts you off, and you have to calm that down, and you have to get into um, things such as, right, basically get down in the business, right? You have to get into like your breathing and your pace, right? You have to um, get into your zone when you're running a marathon, you know? So that is how you become successful at running marathons. That is how you complete marathons. You don't go through the whole marathon super motivated, no. You go through the marathon in the beginning, you get sparked about the motivation, but you know that your technique is the key to you completing the marathon and the key to you continuing on your path to success, whether you're trying to win the marathon or just complete a marathon. Either way, guys, uh, motivation phase, you have to get down to the technique. The same thing is at work, guys. 
at work. Right? At work, I, I, I talk about work as a marathon, your career, your business as a marathon, right? Um, it may be for you as a marathon at work, it may be those consistent sales calls that you have to make over and over and over again, day in, day out, for hours and hours and hours throughout your day in order to connect, meet the right people and to get your message out and become good at your message as you put it out to each and, each and every person that you talk to. So that may be that at work. Um, relationships, the same thing. Motivation is not going to get you to have a great relationship. You know, may, motivation may start you off a spark, a romance, or whatever it is, but when it gets down to the bare taxes of a relationship, right? It is those long, difficult conversations that you have consistently that makes for success in a relationship, guys. So life is not about motivation, but more of a journey of successful events consistently put together in order for you to have a good life. So you have to put those events together day in and day out that is what makes success guys and th none of those things are pretty right none of those things or or any of the um adjectives that i talked about earlier you know love euphoria fantastic incredible no none of those things uh make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside all of those things make you feel pain right make you feel discomfort make you feel like oh my god can I do this but as I tell people what's important to you will shine through what's important to you will force you to do what you don't want to do because you know it's necessary to do it and that is that is where success begins to happen in your life and here's the deal guys you can never back off you can never back off a of success. You have to continually, relentlessly push yourself to the next level until you can't push anymore. Until you completely shut down and it is in and it is over. Right? In that level, then you have to move to something else. Then you have to move to something else. But either way, guys, success has to constantly be chased by you if you want to have a successful life. You can't stop. Or it will leave you as quick as it came. That's what success is, man. And that doesn't sound pretty, does it? So I want to tell you a little something, a little story real quick um, about success and motivation and what it means to me and how I um, overcame um, some odds that were put against me um, and this was right before I retired from my 28 year career in law enforcement and I had all intentions I was flying high I was doing great things I had all the right current connections and my intentions was to retire at the top of my game right and so um, it was a memorial day and the grass was a little dewy it was early in the morning I just got back uh, from about a 13 half marathon, 13 mile run. I was training for a marathon um, that I was going to be running. And uh, so I came home, took off my sneakers, uh, threw on my daughter's uh, slip slop, flip flops just to uh, uh, water the grass real quick and slipped in the grass and what happened? I ruptured, ruptured my quadricep and, and my patella tendon snapped, pushed my knee almost through my skin right I'm telling you the most excruciating pain that I have ever felt in my life the most excruciating pain and it was a non-stop excruciating pain and so um this is a memorial day and I went to the doctor and to the hospital and when I got there I knew